First question will be from Joe Bettner, and then we'll go to Ryan Aber. Joe? Uh, Ronnie, uh, you mentioned when you were on scout team how good it was for you to go up against the caliber of offensive line OU has. Uh, I wanted to specifically ask you about Creed Humphrey, just in terms of uh, the challenge it is for you guys at the defensive front and seeing him in practice, as well as what kind of, I guess, leader he is and how that m might spread to you guys as a defense. Um, I mean, he, he probably the, I mean, I'd probably say he's the best center in the country, so just uh, going up against somebody with his, with his skill set, man, he he one of the strongest dudes you will meet. He a, he a flexible guy. He also got the mental aspect of the game. He got it all down. So, like, he really the total package, man. So, um, he's definitely a good look for us. Um, just going against a center who could diagnose a lot of stuff that we do. And um, it's definitely a good look for our inside guys to get them ready for uh, whoever they prepare to face on Saturday. Thanks, Ronnie. Okay, Ryan Aber and then Eric Bailey. Yeah, Ronnie, I want to ask you about the guy who was just uh, just there right before you and Nick. Uh, just how important is what he's doing right now uh, to the success of this defense, and, and how much easier does that make your job uh, when he's able to do what he's been doing lately? Um, shoot, I mean, it's great to have uh, – to have a, another guy on the edge, you know, where you got you got some dominant guys on the inside, you got two dominant guys on the edge, so uh, it's kind of great, you know. It, it give us like no limit to what we could do. Um, we could we, like we don't have to we don't have to be one sided. We're running certain pressures, like, like I could run a pressure, or we could run it with Nick. So I mean, it definitely opened up a lot of things and a lot of uh, a lot of different possibilities for us to run plays and do stunts and everything with uh, with with uh, me or him on either side of the edge. Appreciate it, Ron. Okay, Eric Bailey and then John Hoover. Hey, Ronnie, I asked Nick about which teammate is the loudest and encouraging on the sideline when adversity strikes. He said you and Pat Fields. How much have you embraced that role of really pumping the sideline up during tough times and games? Um, I just kind of always – I kind of always been that player, you know. Uh, shoot, when the going gets tough, we got we to keep fighting, man, so – I just really don't want guys to uh, check out of it, so like, I I just try my best to uh, try my best to keep everybody in it and uh, keep them going. You know, we gotta fight through the adversity. Uh, like Coach Grant always tell us, we um, there's only one thing we guaranteed on Saturdays, and that's adversity. So, to when, when it hit, uh, just tell guys we knew it was coming, and now we gotta fight through it. Thank you, Ronnie. Have a good week. John Hoover and then Bob Prisbillo. Hey, Ronnie, curious if uh, as a football player, you know, you, you prep during the week and you look at film or whatever and you see on film, hey, I've got a decided advantage here over this guy. I, I, I know I can whip this guy. And then it, as that maybe unfolds during a game and you see his hands on his hips and his shoulders get down, maybe you kind of know you've got him. What's that feel like? So that's a good feeling. <laughs> it's a good feeling to know, uh, just to know, like, you, you kind of whooping up on the guy, you know, uh, and it's probably taking a toll on him mentally. So it's just a good feeling, and uh, it kind of gives you a boost to, to keep doing it and uh, probably take it to another level on him. So just to make him feel hopeless, really. <laughs> do you ever go into a game knowing that, though, or do you just kind of feel it or think it or hope it? Um. Sometimes I go into games knowing I'm going to whoop up on some guys. So, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, Bob Prisbillo and then James Hill. Ronnie, what has uh, Coach Kane brought to the table in terms of your growth, development, and things like that? Um, Really, he, he brought a lot of things. Uh, he taught us a lot of things about, about wrestling and passing, I can say. Uh, he he teaching us some good stuff. Uh, we watch a lot of NFL rushes. We work a lot of rushes. So uh, he he pretty much just helped. He came in and he's done a great job of helping us uh, at at time pass rush. Um, Arson really teaching us moves, but uh, not only teaching, but like walking us through to like the small things to uh, to like how to perfect the moves. So uh, he's really just taught us like how how to perfect a lot of things with them pass rushing, and also. Um, taught us like pre-snap reads and everything, how a lot of stuff works. So I just feel like uh, he, he helped us in a big way. And that's why you can see like a lot of a lot of guys on the edge taking a, a big jump from where they were last season. James Hale and then Keegan Renault. 
Hey, Ronnie, this is going to be an interesting matchup. You guys have really uh, come along in the defensive line, especially since you've come back. Oklahoma State's offensive line has held in there, despite they've lost some guys and injuries and things like that. They've got great speed in the backfield. Talk about the Oklahoma State offense and what you guys have been doing, your success in the last couple of weeks, and how you're going to combat some of the things they do. Um, they got a good offense. Uh, Real, real uh, dynamic backfield. You no know, running quarterback is a good running back, and got a nice receiver out on the outside. So they got a good offense. Um, just really got to continue to do what we've been doing for these last two weeks, uh, for the last few weeks. Uh, getting pressure on the quarterback, playing in the backfield, and uh, just doing our assignment, and it should work out how we want it to. Thanks, Ronnie. Keegan Renault and then Lee Benson. Yeah, Nick, and, and some other guys, Ronnie, have talked about how your, your presence just being backed and how many more opportunities it's given to guys along the defensive line. Do you, you feel that, that your presence is helping, you know, not just you make plays, but helping a lot of other people make plays as well? Uh, yeah, most definitely. Uh, I just feel like uh, me being there for him, you know, I can, I can talk a guy up before a play, get him fired up before a play. Um, some plays I could probably catch a double team and a guy could come free through his gap. So uh, I, I definitely feel like my presence uh, has helped the defense a lot. You know, me being on the field with them instead of talking from the sideline, uh, or, you know. So I just feel like, yeah, my presence is like gave guys a more of a boost up front. Thanks, Ronnie. Lee Benson and then Parker Thune. Hey, Ronnie, how much do you and your fellow, <clears throat> excuse me, defensive linemen kind of take to heart knowing that you guys can have a pretty big impact in slowing down a guy like Ty Tylen Wallace? Because you're like, you, know, you watch the game, it's easy to say, hey, the secondary, that's their job, they're responsible for Tylen. But if you all get to Spencer Sanders quicker, uh, you can make it a little easier to defend him on the back end. Um, is, is that fair to say? Yeah, I mean, most definitely. If you're harassing the quarterback, how can he throw the ball? You know, if, if you're getting after the quarterback and he uncomfortable, he gonna, he probably going to throw the ball earlier than he wants to. So uh, I, I definitely believe, like, this game probably – it's probably going to be be one up front. So it's going to be a battle up front for both sides of the ball, offense and defense. Thanks. And Parker Thune. Hey, Ronnie, it seems like you can count on Marcus Stripling for one really explosive play in the pass rush every single game. Have you seen him grow from last year to this year? And uh, what can you say about his ability to respond when his number is called in those situations? Um, uh, as I said earlier, it, it, just, uh, it just shows you uh, how much we've been learning under Coach Kane. Uh, I seen Strip take a big leap from last year. Um, he, he, he's been one of the guys, you know, he um, – he he listens a, he listens a lot, you know. He pays a lot of attention to detail. So when his number gets called, it's like it's really nothing new to him. And uh, he asks a lot of questions to me, to Nick, to anybody, just picking at our brains to uh, try to get better. So uh, I just seen him take like a bigger jump this year. And, um, really just putting everything that he's been learning since last year, since his freshman year. I think uh, he's starting to like really put it together and it's clicking for him.